Okay, welcome back guys to the channel. In this video, we're going to be solving another question from chapter 4 of Beer and Johnson textbook. And we have this assembly that we need to determine the tension in the cable ABD and the reaction at support C. So as I was, we're going to start with the free body diagram. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like and comment. It's going to help to grow the channel and reach out to more students. Let's just jump in. So what we have on the free body diagram, we have the point C, which is a pin, which means we have both x and y components so let's call this cx and this will be our cy we have one single cable abd which has the same tension so we have the tension at point a this direction tension and here we will have this direction again cable uh, since cable cannot be in compression that's the only direction that a cable can have so since this cable in here is in tension so that means it will be pulling from the two sides but that's the force that is applying on the cable and what we have uh, on point a and point d has to be the same force in the opposite direction which is here in this direction and here in this direction that's why we have this directions for the tension so we have all the dimensions in the question so we don't need to, to find any angles everything is in x and y component so we are good to go to do our equilibrium equation sum of all forces equals zero and same for the moment uh, looking at this we'll see that uh, it makes sense to go with the moment about one point that has the most unknowns so that way we can cancel out some of the unknowns and we can find t so if we do the moment about point c counterclockwise positive we'll see that we can get rid of cx and cy and all we have is the tension in the cable and we can find the t very easy uh, so we're going to use the 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moments in 2d i'm going to put the link in the description below you guys if you want to check it out so all we need so as always all we need is just the force in x and y component and the distance vector which is the distance from the point that we are finding the moment about in here is point C to the line of action of the force. So let's start with this T at point A. So as we can see, the moment is clockwise. So we have a negative sign T and the distance will be what we have in here, which is under millimeter. And if we divide that by a thousand, we can get it in meter. So this will be 0.1 meter. Same for here, we will have 0.1 meter. And here we will have 0.25 meter. So we're dividing everything by a thousand to get the dimensions in meter. Let's move on to the other tension at point D. So that would be a counterclockwise moment, which, which means it will be positive. So this will be the direction of the moment. So counterclockwise positive and the distance will be what we have in here 20 250 millimeter or 0.25 we have the 120 newton force at point e which is again a clockwise moment so negative 120 and the distance will be 0.1 meter equals zero and from here we can find our first unknown which is the tension in the cable abd so this will be 80 newton and now we can use our fy and fx in order to find the cx and cy if we do fx let's call this our positive side for x so we have cx minus t equals zero that means cx is also 80 newton no negative sign which shows that the direction that we assumed was correct and we'll do some of all forces in y direction so we'll have cy minus uh, plus t minus 120 equals zero t is 80 so minus 40 on the other side it will be 40 and no negative sign again that shows that the direction was correct if we want to find the magnitude of c we have cx squared plus cy squared and this will give us 89.4 newton and what we have in here is this was our cy and this is our cx and this will be our c if we call this angle alpha alpha will be the tangent reversive cy divided by cx which is 40 divided by 80 and that would give us 26.6 degrees so our final answer would be 89.4 and the angle will be this angle here which was 26.6 degrees 
and that would be the final answer for this question thank you guys for watching uh, as always let me know if you have any questions about this one or any other question in the channel if you have any specific problem in your mind we can cover it in the next video just drop it in the comment and you guys take care and i'll see you in the next one